All right, hi, I'm gonna show you how to make a little felt story if you've never made a felt story before. And um, I wrote a little story about five little bats and their mother and how she kicks them out to go stay in the cave. And so it's, good. it's a counting story with the five bats. So the first thing you wanna do is you wanna find some images. And so all I really needed for mine was some bats and the little bats and the mama bat. So once I found my images, I made them the size that I wanted and I made a bigger one for the, for the mama bat. So you probably want three so that you can cut out pieces of the bats. So then you wanna get some felt. So you're gonna to need to have some different colors of felt that you think maybe bats would be that, the color of bats. Um, you can start out buying sheets of felt. They're usually about 25 cents a sheet. And uh, once you start making lots of felt board pieces, you'll have plenty of scraps to use. So I actually was able to make all of my bats with um, just scraps that I had. Um, so save your scraps. Save, you know, you can, you can use them to make other things in the future. Okay, so what you wanna do is you wanna cut out your bat image. So I cut out my bat image and I placed it, I pinned it to some felt, some gray felt. So um, that's gonna be the first thing you do. And then you cut that out and then you'll have your back, your basic form. And then I cut out his little body and I put it on some darker felt so that I could have some contrast. So once I take that off, then I have some contrast. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna take my glue gun so I have a little glue gun here, and it's all heated up nicely. And I'm gonna put some um, glue on the little body. And I'm gonna place the little body on top. Then I like to use little googly eyes, but if you're working with toddlers and they're gonna be using these pieces, don't use the googly eyes, because they'll bite them off. Um, but you can do that with preschoolers, you can use them. So I'm gonna put two little dots here for the googly eyes. And put some little googly eyes on. And then you wanna have some, um, you might have little pieces there that once it's all dried, you can kind of pull them off. So then you're gonna to wanna to find some um, puffy paints or some fabric paints. And I've got black and gray and brown and white to use for my bats. So I think black would be a good one to outline this with. And so then what you wanna do is you want to test it out first on some, a paper towel to make sure you've got the right stream coming out. And then you can um, kind of go along your outline of your wings. Whoop. Sometimes you have to shake it. And sometimes you make little mistakes and bloops if, it, if there's an air bubble in there like that just happened. So I always like to have some toothpicks around to kind of, you know, fix things up if I need to. I'm just gonna leave that there and show you kind of the finished product there once I've got all of the outlining done of the bat. So then I just made a variety of um, combinations of the different colors that I had chosen and I have the mama bat here too. So it's nice to have different different colors because you wanna represent some diversity here. And it's, it's more exciting for the kids to wonder what's gonna be the next one that comes as opposed to them just all kind of looking the same. So having them all be a little bit different um, makes it more exciting. So um, I'm gonna show you how this little story goes that I made up. It goes, um, five baby bats in the nest with their mother Mother bat said, this home's too small, you need to find another. So five baby bats flew into the cave, 
all on their own trying to be brave. So help me count. We're gonna go one, two, three, four, and five. All right, so one, five baby bats flew into a cave. One flew back home. He wasn't very brave. Now let's count them and see how many are left. One, two, three, four. Four baby bats on their own in a cave. One flew back home. He wasn't very brave. And then you go on and on till they have all flown back home to their mama in the tree. And my ending goes, five baby bats back home with their mother. They were not ready to just live with each other. The end. So I did want to say something about my um, other pieces here. I didn't use a pattern. I just kind of uh, looked at a picture and kind of cut these out. Um, the cave and the grass and the tree. I felt like they were kind of easy to do. But... Um, there's other ways if you're feeling like you can't really draw stuff there's there's stuff that you can do you can um you can buy pellon which is like in interfacing actually and it comes in different thicknesses and so this one is very thick and you can trace right over here let me move this out of the way so you can see but you can just trace right over something and you can see the lines i don't know can you Come up and see that and then you can just trace over that with like a sharpie pen and then you cut it out and you have your design and then I did that with these guys too and I just colored them in with crayons so that's one way that you can do it if you're not feeling like you can just kind of um, draw freehand um, other things that you can do are you can buy different things online that um, go into your printer and you can find images online and then just print them out. And then you'll get, um, like I, I think Eric Carl images are so nice. You can just print them out and iron them onto felt. So um, these images I just printed right out from the printer onto this, um, what is it called? Um, fusible fabric. And um, so that's super easy to do. The problem with these these two types of ways is that they they don't this won't stick on top of that. So if you want to layer your pieces, um, this these two uh, ways won't let you do that. Um, another thing that you can do is you can buy a transfer pen, and then you would just trace your images onto some tracing paper and iron them onto straight onto your felt. And then you can paint your pieces. And then you can go over with a, um, the puffy paints to make your details. So those are some other ways that you can make your, um, and I can help you too. Like if you're having questions, you can um, email me and I'll um, help you with that. All right, that's it. Thanks a lot.